If you're interested in starting your own gaming channel for free, then you've come to the right place. Last time we recorded our gameplay, audio, and synced everything up on the timeline with our face cam. Today we're gonna spice things up a bit and make our videos much more dynamic using some of HitFilm's newest features. Remember, you can use the first link in the description to download HitFilm for free today. Let's start with something that's very commonly seen when creators cut up their gaming videos into clips for sites like TikTok and YouTube Shorts. If you want to add some dynamic captions to a funny moment in your video, then you can do this really easily using the text tool in HitFilm to write out the words that you'd like to appear on screen. You can go through and change the color, font, and size as you'd like. And now you can position each line of text so it plays in time with what you're saying. You can do this by trimming the edges of the layer on the timeline. Now you can choose to leave this as is and just have the text pop in. And if it's coming in really quickly, I actually prefer this. But if you want to add some animation to it, then head to the controls panel and click the dot next to the part of the text that you want to animate. This could be the position, scale, opacity, or all of these things. This will create a keyframe at this moment in time. Then you can click this button up here that looks like two little rectangles and this will open up a mini timeline where you can see your keyframes. Now you can scrub along a few seconds and change the value to something different. This will create a new keyframe and now the text will animate between these two moments. I like to change the position values and also the opacity to make the text look like it's flying in, but you can get creative here. Once you've animated one text layer, you can always right click and copy this layer and then use the paste attributes button onto all of your other text clips to save repeating yourself. You can use keyframes to animate any type of layer. It doesn't have to be text. You could use pictures or video, anything. Just have a bit of fun with it. Now I'm gonna show you some ways to enhance your face cam window. Maybe you want a different shape to the standard rectangle. If you want something like a circle, you can use the ellipse mask or something geometric using the polygon mask. You can draw this straight onto your face cam footage before you change the scale and position. Now, if you'd like to have a consistent brand across different social medias, say you're also streaming on Twitch, there is a way to make these custom face shapes in OBS as well. So we're gonna start off in HitFilm, so create a new plane and make the color white. From here, you can choose your mask shape or draw your own with the pen tool. Once you're happy with your shape, make sure it's the only layer on your timeline and then use the export frame button. Make sure the format is set to PNG and the channels option is set to RGBA. This way it will have a transparent background. Now in OBS, add a new source and choose video capture device. Give it a name and pick your webcam from the options. Select the new source from the list and click the filters button. This brings up a window where you can add effects onto your face cam. Let's click the plus button in the bottom left corner to add an effect and choose image mask slash blend from the options. You can now import your frame from HitFilm and OBS will use the shape you made to create a cutout for your video. Now let's head back over to HitFilm and add a border to our face cam, similar to some of the most popular gameplay YouTubers. For this, you just need to add a stroke effect to the video, which will create an outline and you can change the width and the color to anything you'd like. You can even double them up and add multiple stroke effects and play around with the start and end points to create a multicolored border. This creates a bit of separation between you and your gameplay. An alternative effect that you can use on your face cams is a green screen. We have a video all about the best low budget green screen options available to you. So you can click the card on screen right now to go and see that. In HitFilm, drag the color difference key onto your green screen footage. It should automatically be set to key out green, but if your screen is a different color, just choose from the drop down list. Then adjust the settings until the green disappears, but you stay behind. If you're using HitFilm Pro rather than free, then you can use the chroma key effect instead. Both of these effects will give you the options to remove a solid color background, but the chroma key effect is just more customizable. Now you can blend into the corner of your gameplay. Lastly, let's make some graphics. This can sound really intimidating to a beginner, but I'm gonna show you how HitFilm makes this possible with no graphic design experience needed. So head over to the creative library and choose the templates tab. 
The amount of templates that you have access to will depend on your subscription level, but all of the tiers, including free, do have some available. So I'm gonna make my own custom intro for my gaming channel using one of these templates. I'm going to select the template that I want to use and click the download button. Once this is finished, it will turn into an add to media button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that again and it will be added to my media panel. So you can then drag this out onto the timeline and in the controls panel, you'll find the options to edit the text, color and position to make it your own. Now, for those of you who want even more control over these templates, you can find the composite shop by heading to the templates button next to the import button. This will give you a list of all of the installed templates. So you can choose the one you want and then click the edit button. So that's now opened up the template with the ability to edit all of the assets, that's the animations, the shapes, everything. This is a really useful feature if you're looking at getting into motion graphics because you can really look at how these templates work and break them apart and learn from them. And that's everything you need to start a gaming channel today. Remember, you can download HitFilm for free using the first link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.